So an example of the concept that the, of there being a physical creation that has similar attributes and parallels as spiritual realms, that's what we've been talking about, that existence as we see it and existence as, it, as we see it is really a parallel to a spiritual environment, to a spiritual existence and that each form that came into creation came through a more subtle spiritual comparative existence which acts as its source in a in a higher realm and it comes through a process of, of evolvement we have learned that in relationship to a the crowing of a of a rooster as an example that we were given, we most recently said the example of the Ari, the lion, and we talked about that the lion can be represented in the spiritual realms and it can find itself um, reflected from spiritual um, entities in the higher realms. That is that the, that although even though a lion might be uh, might be a fierce animal below in the spiritual realms, in the realm um, of the spiritual worlds called Bria, in Bria and Yetzira, um, there is a divine, uh, there is a representation of that lion in the um, heavenly spheres from what was called the divine chariot, which came, which is mentioned in Yechezkel's prophecy. And Yecheskel speaks there of an image of a lion. And as we, as we described in a spiritual sense in a higher realm, um, uh, not, the, not the animal characteristics, but we find that we, we find that in a spiritual sense, the lion roars below. And so the angels, which are representative of the, of the aspects of the source of this lion in the spiritual realms, they proclaim the holy verses of Kadosh, meaning holy, and concerning the, concerning the presence of, uh, of godliness. And, that's, and that same concept is reflected in a higher, even more higher realm, in a more higher realm um, that is in the world of emanation and the world of, of Atsilas and parallel to to a level that we discussed, which was called Chesed, and then the attribute of the level of Chachma in the realm of in the realm of Atzilus. and we found that by virtue of, uh, as was discussed in the text, uh, we found that as a as as part of the text in terms of the letters being potentially rearranged and coming to associate themselves with a with with the higher realm. That is the idea of Ria, the idea of seeing, the idea of vision, where vision incorporates a higher realm, which is the which is which is the idea of which the idea of chokma. Chokma in in the spheres sees everything in one in one instance and a higher you know in a higher realm in a sense of clarity of capturing all parts of the idea as uh, as one unit. And then the Mimer even mentioned yeah. that this that this has a root in a higher realm, in a higher realm called Kesser. Okay. That's we we are um, we are in the in in the text. We are at um, in the in the text which is referenced in section in the first video that we do it, and in the text um, which was uh, we called true existence. In the book where it ha we are on page 32, which is wherever I um, mean close to where the note, where the la last note 102 is, and in the paragraph, the paragraph described as um, day and night. So we're, we're starting and we're, we'll continue with the text at the moment. Now, in that same idea is the reflection the, in the realm that one level can be uh, a proxy or a reflection of a higher realm. Um, we can we we also note we also note that the uh, a higher 
the, a higher level, another representation or another example of this higher realm representation is the idea of day and night. And where do we see day and night are mentioned? So here we're going to continue. We continue with the text, learning the text. Uh, and he gives the example in a similar sense. Oi, mi marcha la mata When we have in our in our realms of existence the idea of a day, valila and a night, lamila in, in the in the higher realms, kishahia mesha bahar, where when Moshe Rabbeinu was receiving the Torah, he was in that period of time of the 40 days and 40 nights receiving the Torah, Torah from God, we have, a, we have in, the, in the narrative of that and the Midrashic sources of that more fully documented, documented in Note 102. So over there, we, we talk about the story or we can talk about the episode. What happened was Moshe Rabbeinu was in the heavens learning Torah from, learning Torah from Hashem. And, and, and it said that in the daytime, in, a, in, in the daytime, Hashem taught him the, uh, uh, Hashem taught him the, um, the, the, the Torah. And at the night time, he would have to review his study. So in the daytime, he was taught the written Torah. And in the evening, <clears throat> um, uh, uh, when he would review his studies, the oral, Torah, uh, the oral Torah would be the nighttime. The idea uh, being that because different, um, different things happen in the, in the, in the, there was more light associated with the, with the. Um, there's more light associated with the given to, with the written Torah than with the oral Torah. So this is a period of, of a point of when there is more light and, um, a left and the period of nighttime was when there is less light. Similarly, so in the oral in the written Torah is the highest level of spirituality in the written and in the oral Torah. Is a lesser is a is a is it's not as it's not as revealed it's not as it's not as so much an area of light it's somewhat more dark because um, they're more detailed and you have to understand it and grasp it and put it into your into your, into your eye mind so this is the idea this is the idea of of internalizing this knowledge but it becomes you're changing you're changing and um, limiting the light of Hashem um, inside of yourself. So this is like a more proxy to the idea of of, of nighttime. It's, uh, also, there's a there's an there's another idea which we're just about to which we just says we're just about to say in the text, right? So hine hine apapam omer rabbeinu shachino rabbocha. That when Hashem was teaching Mesha the, the written law, um, he knew this was the daytime. When he learned with him the, um, the, the oral Torah, right? he, he knew there was night, indicating that there was a different, there is a differential between between these two levels, between between Shabal, ter, the written the written Torah Torah itself, and the oral Torah written um, by light, that you could you can conceptually represent as day and night, and from this, Moshe Rabbeinu understood that it must that in the physical realm that expounds to that it relates to that it evolves to day physical day and physical night. It, in, a, in another in another place it's recorded or palm omer remember in another place it's recorded that our sages say when the angels say say kodesh say the say that prayer expression of kodesh yedeshuhuyeh knew it must be daytime kesha omro and when they said boruch when they said, when they said, Baruch, that they, he knew we recognized this is, this is a night, this was nighttime. Again, the same concept implied in this idea that 
at the time when the Malachim, when the angels say Kodesh, it's a time of greater revelation. At the time when it is, when it, when it is, when it, um, when it is that the Malachim are saying Baruch, uh, he understood that this is that this is an indicator of a of a of a, a lessening degree of light, and therefore that's how Mishra Ben recognized recognized the day and night. What is this? What is this teaching us? What is this teaching us? That Moshe Rabbeinu recognized by the differences in the spiritual realms, the differences about what was happening in the physical, in the physical realm, indicating to us that, this, that these changes, this state, the different fluxes or these different states uh, are an a, a indicator and if not just and not just an indicator, but also a motivator of the changes of the changes that happen in the in the physical world. Okay, so in note one um, in note one hundred six, he he uh, the, the 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 author of the of the English text of the true existence now gives us some background information in relationship to the idea of. Of the idea of Kodesh and Baruch and how they refer and how they refer to the different um, uh, the, the, the different levels. The idea is um, mentioned in Lakuditera that they source themselves from different spiritual realms, which reflect uh, a lessening of um, holiness. Okay, we can um, uh, you you might investigate that um, ourselves in a different in a different in a different time but let's have a look in um, um, let's look at let's look at the, the note a um, little bit in, in note 106 but in um, on the at the at the middle of the, the note he talks about he talks about that night is a attribute of Malchus, as the verse states, Malchus, Malchus, Kelelomi, and the word Olam is from the word Helam, concealment and darkness. That is, that the light of God with which he created the world was hidden and concealed to enable physical creation. Therefore, we have the idea that Malchus is called night, which is a dark sense, a darker sense or a covered sense, the idea of Simpson and concealment. Hence, the unity of Zor and Malchus parallels the unity of day and night, resulting in the idea of one day, the idea which is uh, a, a, quote, a, quote from, a, a quote from the Zohar. The point that we're stressing over here is that this idea of, of night and day has a representation in the spiritual realms. And that's also reflected in the in the in the idea of Kodesh Baruch, and as we mentioned in Kodesh, that with the idea of Kodesh and Baruch, it also explains that the idea of that the idea of Kodesh um, is a higher realm, um, and that and Baruch refers to a flow which is destined for the level of of Malchus. So therefore, again, with those two things. Moshe Rabbeinu understood that there is a there was a there was a difference in spiritual flux at that time. So therefore, he understood there is that this is the idea of uh, this is the idea of of day and the idea of night. So um, as we as we look in that note in that note near the end, he speaks about Kodesh and Baruch, and he says and he says um, Kodesh relates to the level of Zor, and Zor has got the idea of a downward flow. Um, um, Baruch is, in, is the idea of Malchus, and Baruch means Hamshoch, the idea of a flow. Um, and therefore, and that flow is a flow which is received from the spiritual level called Zor, which is what the level of Kodesh. So the last paragraph within that note, 107 and 106 says, so hence when Moshe Rabbeinu heard the angels proclaiming Kodesh, he knew it was day 
and for they are both related to Zor, and when they proclaimed Baruch, you knew it was not, for they, for they are both related to the idea of Malchus. The point of this was, the point of this again was to say that Moshe Rabbeinu understood the differences in spiritual levels, and therefore, even though he was in the heavens where he doesn't, where you don't see day or night, he saw the implications of the ideas of day and night, and those implications reflected the different changes, the different changes. So let's go back to the main text. So even though, even though we said that that day and night, physical day and night, is related to the written Torah and the and the oral Torah, but that is that is and that is an expression how it is how it's a metaphor or a, or a proxy for the, the these higher levels, but in fact. Tera itself is a, he continues, is a moshal, is a metaphor. The Tera itself is, for a, is a metaphor in the, for the higher realms to explain to us the higher realms and how they exist in the lower realms. That is to say, that is to say that, that let's continue with the text, right? That, that, um, Bechinas Moshal Akadmini, that the Tera, Shahain, Bechinas, Moshal, Katmeni, these are analogies or metaphor um, to the primeal, to primeal um, uh, metaphor. Hainasha Tera, who Moshal, the Tera acts as a metaphor, Lahobin, to explain to us and to teach. Bechinas, Eir, Ein Sof, the level of Eir, Ein Sof, Baruch, who Kodmash, Kodmeli, Shal Elam, is a, <coughs> is a, Pre-existence and existence which precedes the world. Shagam ki moshal mastir kotza al nimshal. Even though the analogy, the Torah itself, is is hiding this idea, v'chol mokom alidei moshal. But through the analogy, it may be in her nimshal. We can understand what it refers to, etc. So the idea of physical day and night reflects and is actually a metaphor for a higher revelation or a lesser revelation as expressed in how we learned before and similarly so the idea of what we just mentioned before when the when the angels when the angels proclaim the union of kodosh and the union of baruch shnehem bachinas vital both of these both of these expressions have an expression of of not self nullification of the angels raksha bitul disrupting However, the, the self-nullification, the representation of how the expression of the angels called Shropim, Sha'im and Kodesh, how they say Kodesh, comes from their understanding, comes from their perception. And the and in the Rambam it tells us that the Shropim are high level angels. And Shahu Yizbarku Kodesh Mubla comes from their perception, how Hashem is holy and separate from him. But Baruch, the word, uh, the Baruch, but the angels, which are called Afanim, and the Rambam tells us that they are a lower class angel, they, they, they desire, they express their desire for the drawing forth of divine light. And they are not comparable to day and night, the physical day and night, but they express the, a, a differential, a different level, a different level of, uh, a different level of existence. And this is, and this is also a, a comparison to the idea of, of a larger, of a deeper perception or a lesser, or a lesser uh, uh, perception. And, and so therefore, Therefore, behold, therefore, Makol Mokom, continuing the text, Shorish Yama Balailo, who Mahem Shari Mesha Yeda, he said. Nevertheless, Mesha Rabbeinu understood, and it was evident from, that Moses understood from these, 
differences that he saw in the angels or from the differences from from the differences at the time when Moshe, when Hashem was teaching him the Torah as the, as we are told as our sages told us we understand continuing the text that in the upper realms the proxy or the equivalent to but not um, but not the same but in the spiritual sense, there's a level of equivalence between day and Teresh Yisrael, and and the, the the proclamation of Kodesh of the angels and Bechinos Laila and the and the difference to the uh, to to the idea of night. What what is night? To Indian Teresh above here, which reflects the idea of Teresh above here, or Bechinos Baruch and the level of Baruch. Should Srikos Lias Ravovis and Medregos or Shal Shlokilo. Now, in order to in order for physical entities to be created. There needs to be the evolution, the evolution from the higher spiritual realms to the lower spirit to, to the lower spiritual realms. And the existence of these higher spiritual realms is evidence in the Torah via these stories that we've said. And as they evolve in a spiritual sense, or as they de-evolve into the lower physical sense, they become a they become a, a constituent chain in the in the upper progression of an of indicators which would show us that higher realms um, cause a spiritual flow to to you know to, to the lower realms so even though as we said they become they are a what we could call a source, not necessarily a direct source, but an influencer. This differential Mesha understood. As we said, and to be multiple levels in between, but and at the consequence and the conclusion of that of that of that spiritual take of spiritual flow downwards to a lower level of existence at the lowest plane of the interface between spiritual and physical comes the idea comes the idea that there has to be creation yesh ma'ayin there has to be the creation of creation ex nihilo the creation of of physicality from spirituality, but that but that level that creation of physicality is influences got a connective point back up through the chain of through the chain of spiritual existence in the higher realms to these higher to these higher levels. At this point, at this point, we'll we'll um, we'll we'll stop here and we'll continue our teaching yeah. at the next time.